Hi, and welcome to the All Things ITSM Global Podcast, coming to you from Fusion 15 in New Orleans. I'm Kirsty McGow. I'm here with Suresh GP. Hello, everybody. Carlos Casanova. Hello, Kirsty. And we're talking to Torsten Manthe. Hi. Hi, Torsten. I've uh, spent a little bit of time with you over the last week, road tripping from uh, Orlando to uh, New Orleans. Yes, so, but it was great. Yeah, it was great fun. Time. Yeah. So, uh, Torsten, you, you've been termed as a people change management guru. So how does that sound? Because I, I saw you in Norway uh, in earlier this March. Yes. Um, and now we are in Fusion. So tell us about what is this people change management? Do we raise records for change for people? And, and if we can, I need that system because there's yeah. a lot of people that we need to change. You mean the tool? <laughs> yeah. Yes, all right. Yeah, yeah the tool. <laughs> you need change, a new tool. Yeah. No, I think uh, people change management, I, and I call it people change management to differentiate between the regular idle mm. change management process to you know, be clear. Uh, we're pretty good at you know, designing processes, and yeah. we have all these mm -hmm. ITIL gurus and, and, you know, ITIL experts, so we're really good at that. We're also pretty pretty darn good at, you know, developing or implementing or designing tools. Mm -hmm. I think where we're lacking uh, is making sure that people are actually, yeah. you know, buying into mm -hmm. it. So that's what I call the people change management piece. Yeah. Uh, making sure that the tools and the processes that you're implementing, are people actually following them? Are they using them? So if you're thinking of, okay, so we're gonna implement this process, we're gonna put this tool into, in, in production. If nobody is changing the way they're working, right. what is really changing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and they'll, I mean, they'll circumvent. I mean, they, you know, they're very resourceful. You know, they'll find ways around it. They if are, they yeah. If they don't see yeah. the value in how it's gonna help them, if, they're, if the incentives aren't being modified to, uh, also reward the right behavior versus the old behavior? Absolutely. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying when you focus on people change management, it's like running a project where you have project management, you have the different deliverable, the phases, and you have a specific methodology. You need the same for people change management. Yeah. You need a very structured yeah. approach when you're making sure that people are you know, going through the motions of, yeah. you know, there are many different uh, frameworks out there, you know, the ADCAR, mm. ADKAR, yeah. and, you know, the Cotter's eight steps yes. and so right. on. Yeah. So we so. had this example where um, there was a company, a large company actually acquired a smaller company. So one of the, the biggest worry the, the, the company, um, the people were in the small company was, you know, they were not really sure about whether they have their jobs and nobody really addressed the audience for two days. Uh, it was a nightmare. So how, do you, how do you look That's at those? That was pretty quick. Two days is great. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all about communication. Yeah. I, and I think that's where, you know, if you look at the if you say structured approach for people change management. So when you are, when you know that you're going to have a change, you, you know, merger acquisition or whatever, a major change within your organization, you need to communicate. Even if you don't know the answer, you should communicate that you still don't know the answer. Right. Yeah. So I think that is one very important piece. So. I think one of the things I've found most difficult in trying to get that across the line is actually getting the budget holders to realise that the people change management is something they have to account for. They they see that as something a little bit foggy. Oh, we we'll just, a little we'll bit just do that as part of everything else. Yeah, that's, right. that's, that's just, just something start. that that yeah. just happens, and it, and it doesn't just happen. No. They actually have to plan for it. Yeah. So how, how do you persuade those people who actually have the dollars that people change management is something they have to invest in? I mean, there are many different ways that you can build a business case, yeah. and you can really prove that uh, investing in this or in that, and you put it on a piece of paper, I mean, that's, I mean, you can do that quite easily. Mm -hmm. But I think the, uh, the, the broader picture is to maybe show some projects within industry, some large projects yeah. that have really failed, mm. and say, look, this yeah. is not due to the technology. This is not due mm. to our process. It's due to either the, the culture but, but that's, or... But isn't that the majority of the times? That's the thing I think mm. most of us that have been, you know, at this point I've probably been in well over 100 companies over my mm. career. And, you know, my wife says it all the time, says, you complain about everyone that they were all horrible. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and she looks at me and says, you know, and as a wife of, you know, 20 plus years, you know, she, you know, it's like, you sure it's not you, you know? <laughs> um, and, but you talk yeah. to, you know, talk to you, Kirsty, Stresh, you know, talk to others. We all experience the same thing. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. probably what's, what's the most frustrating is that after this long, we're still dealing with, yeah. you know, some of these fundamental things. I think every Absolutely. project can fail. Every project can succeed, really regardless yeah. of tool, regardless of process, if the people aspect yeah. is not addressed. It, I mean, it is the most. I think it's the most important aspect, and it's the one that's just never 
so many organisations just don't account for it. They don't plan yeah. for it. Yeah. They, I, they I, just I expect everyone right. to come along right. with yeah. the flow. You know, I've spent however many hundreds of thousands of dollars putting this new tool in. You expect me to send, spend more money on changing people? Yeah. People should just do it. Yeah. We're paying them. Yeah. Right? They're mean, employees. They should just do it. it well, I, the biggest thing work. for projects to succeed or projects to fail is to have a sponsor, right? Yeah. And not just a sponsor. Yeah, an active but sponsor. A visible and <laughs> yeah. active yeah. sponsor. If yeah. you have that, I mean, the... the mm. The, this, the rate of success of projects really oh, climb up there. Yeah. So, I mean, industry, I just read a report and said that more than 50%, I think it was 62% of big mergers mm -hmm. or acquisition, big transitions, they actually fail oh, yeah. to produce the outcome. Absolutely. Not the project mm. fails themselves, yeah. no. but they really but the fail outcomes, to produce yeah. the yeah. outcome, the, yeah. the, the more efficiency or effectiveness yeah. or the cost savings. Yeah. That is huge, yeah. and I think a very big yeah. aspect has to do with yeah. people change management. Yeah, well, I, I talked to a customer last year, I think it was, who they were making quite a major change, and it was really going to affect people. And I said to them, you know what, what are you doing to make sure that your people are actually mm -hmm. coming along with you on this? And their answer was, well, they don't have a choice. They have to do it. Yeah, right. Yeah. But ask I yourself say, this question. You do, how they many, do have a choice. How many well-educated yeah. or, or certified yeah. ITIL process people do you have in your project? Mm. How many certified, uh, you know, technology mm. individual yeah. do you have, you know, Microsoft mm. or yeah. whatever technology? Mm. And then you ask the question, how many certified people change management experts yeah. do you have on the project? Most pr yeah. projects are yeah. What are they? Yeah. Well, I was going to yeah. say, most yeah, yeah, what are they? Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. What are they? I mean, I, you know, one of the clients I'm working with now, I mean, they're a very large global entity mm. who has gone through three or four different mergers and acquisitions because of various you know, reasons and stuff. And, and that's one of the biggest challenges. They've got you know, groups, large groups, not even like small subsidiaries, but mm -hmm. large, equally sized groups in you know, all corners of the world. And you know, they're trying to have these, you know, uh, this transformation effort going on. And it's just, it's tough. It's tough yeah. you know, culturally. Ex um, you know, I mean, the language barrier makes it, you know, adds a, another complexity, but culturally, how do you work with these people now that you know, they yes. used to be the king. Yeah, and some countries it is, yeah. well, we expect them to yeah. do it and that's enough. Other countries who really have to push and communicate, yeah. so yeah. It, it's, yeah. it's a very big cultural yeah. thing. Yeah. So how does that fit into like the larger uh, organizational change? Because I mean, that's, I think, what mm. I end up involved a lot yeah. more, you know, regardless of what level I come in on, mm. it seems it ends up you know, always sort of organizational change-ish. Uh, how does that fit into the whole thing or is it really kind of one and the same? I think it's one and the same. I mean, many organizations call it OCM, okay. organizational mm -hmm. change management, and what they really mean is what I call people change management. Okay. I just make it a little bit more specific when right. I talk about it, so when people uh, you know, understand, okay, people change management, organizational change can mean so it's much just more. Just a hierarchy and that's right, it. Right, but yeah. uh, you know, in my world, it's exactly the same thing. Okay, so. because I, I know I had, a, had one where they were going through a big you know, restructuring, right? Mm -hmm. And I told them, no matter what you do, just do it fast. Don't yeah. let it linger. Yep. As soon as you get mm -hmm. to that first you know, level of design of you know, what you want mm -hmm. it to look like and you want the people to be in, just do it. If you let it linger, because my experience is that's when what I call the horse trading happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really want to keep Bob. Mm -hmm. you know, and, Bob you know, and now you start corrupting the whole structure that yeah. you invested a ton of time in and now everybody's out of position again. Right, those are some other numbers right, uh, that I read in that report that the morale yeah. All the oh employees, they, it just tumbles straight yep. down due to either the lack of knowledge or it takes so long time when yep. they don't know what's going on. Yeah. So I, I find a lot of people that you know, like, oh, I, don't, I might not have to do this anymore. Yeah. So I'm going to stop now. <laughs> yeah. and, and what would be your practical takeaways for someone? I mean, do we need to hire a consultant to do this change management? Because I, I think it primarily revolves around the culture piece and how it fits into the organization environment. So. Uh, from an organization which is embarking on, a, let's say, a transformation, what's kind of specific um, uh, practical things that they would need to do if they want to plan a transformation, probably a 100-day program? Or something I mean, it's, like. it's very simple. I mean, use a structured approach. Mm -hmm. And in like any other project, you have, a, uh, you know, like a project management approach. There are multiple out mm -hmm. there. Same thing in people change management. Mm -hmm. There are multiple yep. structured mm -hmm. approaches out there. And get a sponsor yeah. that is visible and active. I think if you do those two things, it's very, very likely that the, the project will be much more successful. Thank you, Torsten. That's been a very enlightening chat, and I think it's, it's something that all of us have struggled yeah. with and continue yeah. to struggle with, and there will be a lot of people listening to this who are...
yeah, and going I through that right now. Yeah, yeah I don't great. think that there's as much conversation around it that yeah. you know, as probably should be. So it's, yeah. it's that's nice why I'm speaking yeah. about yeah. it. Last yeah. this year and this last yeah. year as well, <laughs> and in, in Norway. So yeah, yeah, no, I'm pushing for it because yeah. I know we are not great at it. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me.